largest. We'll just get that back up. Fifteen thousand five hundred and nine. This is final walk around video of the bikes to show you any marks we'll come across in the valley or any extras that's on there. We we'll start off with the screen. We've got aftermarket dart screen that has a tint to it. Does have a few marks from where it's been cleaned over the years, but overall still functional in good condition. Headlights nice. There's a couple of little stone chips just to the left of it. But overall tidy. Fort legs in nice condition. We've also got the radiator guard on there. The wheels nice. Does have a few chips that's been touched up on there. Just from tire changing over the years. So the frames are nice. Got your RNG crash protection. Got the engine casing's nice. As is the headers. We've also got the Scorpion exhaust. All the rear subframes in nice condition. As is the swing arm. You've got RNG paddock bobbins. The rear wheel, same again, has chips in places. Just general tyre changing. RNG tail tidy. And change brackets in nice condition. And the swing arm also. All the suspension's nice. No underneath. All the frame on this side are nice. Again, so is the engine casing. More RNG crash protection. The chips on the four eggs. The biggest one being oh no, it's actually gone off, but there's a little chip there. Tiny tiny little one there. And we're on that side. Again, a couple of little dinks. No, not dinks, just little chips. Coming to the rear of the bike. Oh, the seat's really nice. Coming along the tank, it does have a couple of marks that I'll try and point out. So on the left hand side, you can see there there's a slight little mark there. Again, there's one there. And right hand side, also one there. Around the front, We've got a few little stone chips that you can see. Nothing new, so I wouldn't expect with the, the mileage. We've also got bar risers on there. We've got the aftermarket levers, along with the bar end mirrors. We do have a couple of tiny little marks in places. Also got the box repeat the grips. All the dash does as it should do. We've also got a USB power socket there. Nice tidy bike. If you'd like to know any more or like to come view the bike, it's at Ryder Motorcycles Castle Road Sitting Bond.